Coffee Talk with SCS. And today we are talking everything summer bug and fly protection for your horse because we're tis, getting closer. I was just gonna say, tis the season, right? It's we coming. haven't been hit hard <laughs> yet. And we can tell because we're so stocked in all of our fly supplies still, mm -hmm. which won't be lasting very no, long. <laughs> I have a feeling as soon as the flies really start coming out and droves, yep. We're gonna like go through our stack very quickly. So oh, yeah. yep. make sure that you guys come in and see us this week after you um, see all of the fun things that we're gonna talk about today. We'd love to hear more about um, what you guys love to use in your barns and with your horses. Um, and you know, let us know. We love to hear. Yeah. We love to hear your feedback and yeah. get that feedback um, in our comments below um, of the video. So for sure, yeah. yeah, and it helps us expand like the amount of product that we carry because. If we hear that you like a really cool product that we've never heard of and we want to know like how cool it is like we'll maybe even bring it in so right you want to hear it so yes. let us know and um and i guess we're kind of in like that one random week where yeah there are no bugs or anything it's perfect to get out right this week <laughs> it's like one short week i know in May. <laughs> they say the weather is going to be nice this week a little bit of rain towards the end of the week which yeah. i'm hoping holds off and does not actually happen so it's a good week to get out and yeah. do those trail rides and be outside with your horses right now because exactly unfortunately here in minnesota it doesn't last very long no so stock up now <laughs> and, and speaking of fly products we wanted to talk about yes. some of our favorites and some of the different options we carry in store to protect your horse from all those crazy summer irritants yes so i feel like maybe we should probably start off with fly spray right yeah because that's kind of like the basics absolutely the basics to summer fly care so yep. we have a couple options here that we carry in store and this is just a small portion because we have a lot of different options that we carry mm -hmm. um i feel like the the most basic one is just your standard fly spray right so this has uh the nice thing about this particular one this is ultra shield this is personal favorite of mine um but it not only is it just your like ultimate fly spray like it works really really well but it also has aloe and lanolin in it um for your horse's coat as well and sunscreen and sunscreen yeah because there are some horses out there especially the horses that have like a little bit of pink in mm -hmm. their skin yeah um they're gonna burn really really quick so it's nice to have a little bit of sunscreen on your horse mm -hmm. and typically we carry an actual sunscreen as well um so you can always stop in i don't think i have it here today but you can always stop in for that as well and we do carry um, multiple sizes, you guys, too. Yes. So we've got these, we've got them in gallons, um, mm -hmm. in several different brands, uh, lots of different options and sizes oh. for you, for your horse as well. Yes. Or I know everybody has their own favorite brand. We do carry actually quite a few different um, different brands yes. and different options for you. I know this week, as we asked you guys yesterday to give us all your suggestions for um, the dimples drawing that we're gonna do at the end of the video today, but you guys, there were several of you guys that actually gave us said that you use your own home remedies yeah. for fly spray too. So if anyone's willing to share your home remedy recipe, I would love to see some of those because <laughs> I'm always curious as to what people do and what kind of blends they make for your homemade fly spray. So if you're willing to share, we would love to see them post them in the comments below. Yeah, I yeah. know. I'm very interested in that too. It's kind of cool to see what everybody uses. I know. Everybody uses different <laughs> things and some things work for some that don't work for others. It's yeah. kind of a trial and error thing. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, and then speaking of like making your own, yes. Um, if, if you're not comfortable making your own, we do have some natural options as well. Mm -hmm. um, both of the Espana fly spray and the Clack fly spray here um, are both uh, essential oil based. So these are great options if mm -hmm. you're not wanting to use like a chemical type or if your horse is very sensitive. sensitive. Some horses are very sensitive to those yep. types of things. So Espana or Clack, or we also have Essential Equine. Those are great options as well. Yep. And a lot of people know Clack because it was in that orange tub a while yep. ago, but they put it in a convenient sprayer now. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about that. It's and isn't so it easy. a little bit different base? It's it more is. of like a gel base, correct? It yes, it's yep. kind of like a liquidy gel. I think they made it a little bit more liquid so it would spray out of this bottle. Okay. Um, but it is kind of like a gel. So it's okay. a little different than like your standard spray. Okay. And then if you're looking for like a barn spray, Mm -hmm. Use this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots like, of people commented yesterday about how awesome this is. Yeah. Little toxic, but great for the barns. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit strong. Um, but I wouldn't use it directly on a horse per se, but um, I use this after I'm done cleaning a stall. I'll like spray it in a stall quick and then like walk away for a while, just kind of let it sink in. 
<laughs> and it works great for that. We great also have our areas. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We also have smaller versions available because we have been stocking the automatic sprayers in your barn. So mm -hmm. we have like the little inserts for those, which is actually this particular brand yep. um, for the sprayers. And then I think we are going to be restocking those automatic sprayers for your barn as well. The actual system itself. Yes, yes, yep. the actual system. We had yep. a few, I know, at the very last like month as we were getting all of our fly stuff in. Yeah. Um, but they sold really quickly. They so they must be pretty popular because they yeah. sold through them pretty fast. But yeah, I'm sure we'll get more in too. Oh, for so. sure. Yep. Yep. And then Absolutely. you can't forget about your lovely little roll on for the face. Yep. So, so yeah. So those are kind of our fly spray options that we kind of carry here in the store. Perfect. What do we want to move on to? Uh, let's do fly boots next. Okay. Perfect. We talked a lot yesterday. A lot of people said absolutely fly boots and fly yes. masks were a must. So yes. let's talk about what we have. For sure. So I think most people know the shoe fly leggings. They're kind of the original OG in um and the and fly boots mm -hmm. um we really love them too the theory is that when they're on the horse's legs the flies won't go in something that they know they can't get out of or they can't find like an easy way out of um so that's why these have worked and honestly the amount of feedback we've got off of them is mm -hmm. crazy really good i mean people love them mm -hmm. and they're super easy to wash you can bring them in here we'll wash them for you mm -hmm. um the really cool thing is they're super bright colored so if your horse loses one Cause you know if they're horses, it happens. <laughs> you can find it pretty easily. You can find it very easily in your in your paddock. So yeah. um, we also we have the original shoe fly legging, but we also have the magic keep leggings. Mm -hmm. um, these are nice too because they have a little bit of fleece on the bottom here for around your horse's hoof, and um, they also have a little bit of extra boning in them as well. Which I think you mm -hmm. have these. right? I do have these, and mm -hmm. I actually love these. We were originally going to get the shoe, uh, shoe flies last year, but of course we had sold out of them yeah. before I came in to actually get them for my horse so we actually went with the magic keep and they're great you guys they wash up really really well um i was surprised how well they held up for the whole season for sure um and with the extra boning it gives it a lot of really nice structure so they don't kind of just scrunch down i know some tend to just fall down and scrunch down sure these really don't they hold up really well gives up nice structure um and really good shape around the horse so yeah. I, I really like these i think they're a great boot Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So that's kind of what we have for fly leggings. Yep. We're pretty yes. well stocked in both, you guys. Yes. Um, from all sizes and all ranges right now. So if you need fly boots, come on in. Yeah. And I think you have the fly masks over by I you. I do. I do. So, so we have a couple different versions of the fly mask, you guys. So you want to start with that one? Yes. <laughs> the big man. I get. I get kind of excited. <laughs> the space alien is what we call it. Yeah. It's, and to me, it's the space cadet mask. <laughs> but you know what? It's a really cool thing. I know it looks a little it looks a little interesting, but but it works really well. It's great for horses who have very sensitive eyes. Mm -hmm. Um especially I have a mare who has super sensitive eyes. Like I mean, hay sets off her eyes, bug sets off her eyes, and this is a great option for horses like that. It has a, it's from horseware and it has like a boning that kind of goes around the eye area so it keeps the mesh off the eyes so it really pushes out you guys so it's not going to yeah. touch your horse's face at all around that eye area yeah yeah it's, yep. it looks a little obnoxious but it's it's excellent for horses who have eye issues mm -hmm. or just horses who are super sensitive in general yep and it has a little nose cover so if you have a horse who's got like a very large blaze or some pink on their nose it'll cover that up yep um it is from horseware it is uv protected and it is also a super, super breathable. Yep. And I would size um, down and down because they do run quite large. Yep. Um, the horse one in particular, I think, runs pretty big. Pretty big. So yep. we actually don't stock the oversized one because because the horse, yeah, the horse does run quite yeah. big. Yep. That's what everyone's been saying. Size down one size for the yeah. most part. Um, if you're yeah. a horse, possibly even try a cob that might work for you mm -hmm. um, because they do run quite large. Yes, for yeah. sure. Okay. So let's talk about it. So we also have our standard fly masks. Standard one there, standard one here. Yeah. The um, weather beta, we have it both with uh, the nose covering as well, I do believe. Yes. Um, has the ear covering. Your basic standard um, fly mask has the one latch underneath, um, throat latch uh, with Velcro. Um, really good, uh, convenient price for you. Um, and they're just a really all around really good fly mask. I really like these. Yeah, and I think we mainly just stock the ones that have the ear covers mm -hmm. um, too. So, but we have tons of different options. We carry Weather Vita and Cashel as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have these guys, which are kind of new. They've been around for only a couple years now, I yep. think, but they've been pretty popular as well. But they are the Lycra fly masks. 
So the rest of the, it, the only part that's mesh is over the eyes. Otherwise, and the ears. And the ears. And, and the, the ears. Yep. And then the rest of it is like a lycra material. Kind of like a, a, a like those like, like a sleazy, like yeah. a sleeky, sleazy yes. um, jammy formula. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, why those, I always think when yeah. I think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're super soft. They kind of are form fitted. Um, I think these might be better actually for those if you have horses that are in a paddock together that like to play halter tag yeah. and like to <laughs> sit and pull on your fly mass and rip your fly mass off each other. This one sits a little bit closer to the face, might not be as easy to pull right off. Yeah. I don't know, I've never used one, but that's that's when I see this, yeah. that's I, I immediately thought of that. I thought, ooh, I wonder if Vegas would actually keep this on instead of playing um, halter tag with right. me like they do. It always right. makes me nervous. I'm like, okay, that's gonna last for about five minutes. With yeah, the and I would think that because this, the, the material is so soft that mm -hmm. it would be good for horses with sensitive Super skin. Super sensitive. Yeah. Because it's such a, like a, a soft uh, material that, yep. yeah, that's what I would think for that too. So yep. yeah, we also so, carry those. <laughs> lots of different options, lots of different sizes. It's kind of amazing. I was almost overwhelmed yeah. when the Cash L ones came in. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many different options, you know, with yeah. ears, without ears, with the nose, without the nose. So, so many different options. So mm -hmm. I think we have something that'll work for yeah. every single horse that's out there. For sure, for yep. sure. And now we're gonna move on to when you're riding, right? Cause a lot of people trail ride or they like to ride outside. And some of our horses are very sensitive to bugs and we wanna make sure that they're comfortable while, while they're being ridden. Yep. Um, so we also have um, some options for that. We have the old standard fly bonnets, mm -hmm. which everybody loves because A, you can match it to uh, like your whole entire wardrobe and that's <laughs> fun. <laughs> and they protect your horse's ears against the bugs, especially yep. at horse shows. We also have ones that have the foam in them that I think we talked about in our last, last video. One. Yep. Um, for if you can't nice. use earplugs or whatnot yep. for that. So these are great for that option. We also have the um, Cashel nose net, and this just attaches to the nose band of your bridle. Mm -hmm. You could probably even throw it on your halter too, but I think it's probably most effective with your bridle when you're riding. Mm -hmm. It'll protect your horse's nose from bugs. Um, I believe it's also UV protectant as well, so from any um, sun for any of the pink spots there. Mm -hmm. And then Cashel also has a fly mask for your bridle, so it's a little bit thinner, um, and it's just um, plain black but it also has ear covers and a nose covers, but it hooks up to your bridle really, really nice. Um, and that is great if you're trail riding or whatnot like that. So perfect. Yeah, they work really, really well. So we have a, quite a few options there. And then I think now, should we move on to the fly, fly sheets? sheets? Fly sheets. I have to talk about this one. I have go to. for it. So okay. Let's start with that one. Okay. Do you need me to get a pen? Maybe. I'll go get a pen. Okay. She's gonna get a pen so we can show you, talk, you I'll get a pen. how incredible this fly sheet is. This is my favorite fly sheet. It is from Horsewear. Um, it is their Rambo Protector. We also carry the Rambo Vamoose Protector. And the difference between those two is that the Vamoose actually has fly repellent in the fabric. Um, I think there's only like a $20 difference in price on that. Um, but they are fantastic fly sheets. I have one for my horse and I just, I love it. I've used other fly sheets, but this one is my favorite personally. Um, it's very, very breathable. Yeah. Like really super lightweight, nice. super yeah. breathable. Yeah. yeah, and it does have um, a belly section to cover the belly. Um, they actually redesigned them so they're longer in front because their old models had like this opening here and then they were, your horse wasn't really as protected. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now they made it a little longer in front, it's like a little apron. <laughs> Comes all the way down. It does, and, yeah. it, and it just protects that area. Um, but it also has leg arches, which mm -hmm. not a lot of fly sheets have. So it'll protect mm -hmm. the upper half of your horse's legs too. Um, but it's super breathable mesh mm -hmm. and it's soft, but it's not like, and it's kind of drapey, but not so drapey where it's like a fabric where it gets hot. Mm -hmm. So, but now we gotta show them the cool part. We do. We gotta show you the cool part of it. So this. we're gonna show you the pen test. And I don't know if all of you guys have seen this. I actually hadn't seen this till we did this on Bingo. Yes. A few weeks back. Oh my I God, had yes. no idea that this did, that this yes. works and does, does it. So this is what we call the pen test, you guys. So. The material is really cool. They It really shows you how much they stand up to a lot of wear and tear because you literally can take a pen and poke it right through the material, create a hole, and then just bend it back and forth and the hole magically goes away. Yeah. So, you wanna see how it works? Yeah, ready? You actually have to... My pen's not open. There you go. All right, ready? Yeah. I don't wanna stab you. Oh, you're good, <laughs> you're good. There we go, okay. Is it through? Yep. Did it go? Yep. 
All right, okay, so then you would just move it and then it just goes back to normal. So and that's how. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there really was a hole in here from the pen going through. Yeah. And then you just move it back and forth. Like, can you see it back. if I go this way better? Yeah. So you see how you it's go. all the way through? Now it's got a hole. So now we're just gonna move it back. And just kind of shift it around, move it back, and then it just kind of goes right back to shape. So it's really kind of fun, shows you that, you know, it can deal it's with a little so bit durable. of wear and tear. It's very yes. durable. Um, so they're kind of fun to do. I like showing people that because oh, they're yeah. like, really? And I'm like, yeah. they're like, no. And I'm like, yeah, really? Well, watch. <laughs> if you don't believe us, come in the store. We'll do the pen test right in front of you. Absolutely. It's not magic. <laughs> not, not magic. It actually works. It, it's great. So this is a great fly sheet. Um, and it, they're very popular. Yes. But we are fully stocked right now, you guys. We, are. we have like we are. three full shelves full of them. We get the now so. you still can. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. The other option that we do have is the Weather Beta. Yeah. Um, kind of the same thing. It, it's got the hood that goes up, has um, a full sheet, has a belly band as well. Um, the legs don't seem to come down quite as far as the Rambo, um, but this is another really great option. The material on this one is a little bit heavier, but still just as durable, I think, yes. as the Rambo as well. So yeah. um, just another option for a fly sheet if you are somebody who loves Weather Beta blankets and really wants to stay within the same brand. Um, you trust them, you know them. This yeah. is a great option for you yeah. along with the other Rambo that we carry too. For sure. Anything else you want to say about this one? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Besides, they are like a little bit of a fit difference. So if you like the fit of Weather Beta, maybe stay with Weather Beta. Mm -hmm. um, but if you like the fit of Horsewear products, then maybe stick with Horsewear. So, yeah. yeah, great. Yeah. Two so great I, options. Yeah, and I think that's all for the, oh, okay. We have to oh, mention yeah. this real quick, real yes. quick. So, you know, we don't have a whole lot for human protection in the store. Um, since horses are more of our specialty, mm -hmm. but you know, we have a little bit of something. So I feel like <laughs> I couldn't not recommend this, but a lot of people don't know that the Windrift lotions that we carry, which mm -hmm. are goat milk lotions, they're fun. They are amazing lotions. They yes. are amazing. Um, the purple one. And when I mean the purple one, I mean the one that's actually purple. Like the lotion <laughs> itself is purple. The huckleberry. Not the lavender, one. the huckleberry. The huckleberry one is actually a natural mosquito repellent. Yes. I yeah, don't a lot like of people don't know huckleberry. That. Yeah, so I love it. So pick some of this up for yourself while you're buying fly spray for your horse. That way you'll be protected and you'll enjoy your ride just as much as your horse. Exactly. Will, right? exactly. Instead of swatting off the flies and the mosquitoes. Exactly. Yep. All right, you guys, we have to do our dimples drying. Um, as you know, Dimple sponsors our coffee talk and is so gracious enough to give us a three pound bucket of dimples to give away every single coffee talk. So yesterday, um, for those of you who checked out our Facebook pages yesterday, you saw that we asked you, what were the products that are your favorite? Just because like we said earlier, we love to see what you guys are using and see if there's something out there that everybody's loving that we don't carry. So, and have all of your suggestions as well. So lots of you guys um, gave us what you like to use, what you use on a daily basis in the summertime. And what we did is we took those names of everybody that participated, put them in our basket, and we're gonna draw for this week's winner. Sounds good. You want to drop? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Da, drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> okay. And who do we okay. got? Okay. Nancy Martinson. Nancy, congratulations. You, you've won a free bucket of Dimples Horse Treats. Woohoo! So we, stop in and see us. It's yeah. been like two weeks since I've seen you, Nancy. <laughs> You're kind of new for a trip, I think. <laughs> exactly. We miss you. Come on in. Stop up and see us. Um, housekeeping items. Yes. What we have for this week, we've got two shows this coming week. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, now we're kickstarting show season. We are. We are. Yeah. It's here. It is. I'm yep. excited. I am too. Yes. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm super pumped. I love Shows. We've been it's super busy, you guys. You yes. guys have stopped in in the last month. It's been crazy how much you guys have come in to get all your show stuff and get yourself ready. From two weeks ago's oh, video, yeah. we had lots of people that stopped in after that to do some shopping for to get yourself prepped and ready to go for this weekend. Exactly. And yeah. I think it's going to be crazy busy and yeah. a great show to get us. Yeah, so I think we're up. just ready to get out. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, it's time. Yep, it's time. So, um, but yeah, so we have two shows coming up yep. this weekend. Or yep. this, coming this weekend. coming weekend. We will be at Mayflower, which is at Otter Creek. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will also be at the, uh, I think it's a Red Pine show. It's right? a Red Pine show. Yep, yep. at Carriage House. house. So we'll so have trailers we'll there. Yeah. at both places. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll have Ingrid and Amy at Otter Creek, and then actually I'll be at the Red Pine Show at Carriage House. So Woohoo! It'll be a lot of fun. I won't be working. I'll be, I'll be with showing. my daughter yeah. showing. So. so she'll be there too. I'll be around. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see you guys. Last year's showing was a little different for me last year because it was so small. 
and I wasn't working here yeah. yet at that point last year. So now this year, I have a feeling that I'll be seeing lots of familiar faces out at the showground. So I'm really excited for it. Yeah, and I think a lot of our employees are actually showing. Yeah, they're they they so so. I know. So if you see us, say hi. Yep, stop in, <laughs> we'll say hi. hi. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, um, and then we have a, and the, another, we have the Otter Creek Trial yes. after that. Yep. And that's a big show. Yep. So that'll be a whole lot of fun. Yep. And then we also have Three Ring Circus. Yes. Which is our show. Our show <laughs> at the end of the month. Yep. Um, again, registrations are open. Yes. Cells are open, you guys. So if you haven't dropped off your registrations, um, you can go right on our website and download and print off a copy of the registration page. Um, fill it out, mail it in, or stop in and see us and drop it off. Yep. If you need a stall, um, you haven't already reserved your stall, feel free to call us. We can do it right over the phone for your stall, or stop in and drop off your check for, for your stall and get that registered yep. too. Yep, and dressage entries for the Three Ring Circus do end um, May 19th, so you're gonna wanna get those in right away. And stalls are first come, first shirt serve, so yep. get those in ASAP if as you want As soon as stall. you can if you haven't already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's it. Blankets, you guys. We, um, we're pretty caught up. We've been racking and rolling with blankets, which has been great. You guys have been bringing us um, all kinds of fun ones to do and take care of for you. Yeah. Um, but we are pretty caught up. So if you have those winter blankets sitting around that you need to take care of for you, um, turnaround time is pretty darn quick right now. So I'll bring them in and then yeah. you can get them stored for the summer and you'll be all set to go come fall. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah. And I think that's it for this week's Coffee Talk. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you again for Dimples for sponsoring us. Absolutely. But until then, we'll see you guys see in See you guys soon. Bye.